All right, guys, welcome back. It is football. It is 11 o'clock, 10.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This took me about three hours to do. I didn't get home till late. I had a huge ton of, a ton of meetings today going over certain things. But I want to go back to something. Remember uh, in one video I said if you're Team 5, you're Team 4, whatever it was. And then in the last video I said I don't know where I got that from. Here's where I got it from. If you look on the standings, this is... Team 1, or excuse me, this is Division 1. Uh, look at the name. Name is there. That's where I got name from. And when I kept looking at this, I thought that this was really this. This is really where you're at as far as your team numbers. So that's where the name thing came from. That's where I said, if you're Team 7, you're really 6 and so on and so forth. But you're not. You're really where you were. I just got confused when I looked at the standings and saw the name there. And somebody had commented that and confused me is what happened. When I was looking at this, I said, oh, that's where I got name from. So anyway, for those of you who just got confused by what I said, pretend that I never said name. Pretend that I never said if you're Team 4, you're Team 3. Where you are is where you are. Go back to that very first video and you'll see exactly where you are. I'm not going to go through all of the teams here. I'm going to go to the standings, which is what you guys should care about right now. So let's go over the summarization of the standings. Vaughn Hook in Division One is in first. Uh, Thomas Everett Patrick Brady Jr. is only a half game out. And uh, right now, 7-71 seven and 71 is one of the worst records. But surprisingly, it is not the worst record. So let's go to sheet two. Harry O'Neill, uh, strong, 5-0. and Christian Warnsley, only a half game back. Yosef Time is only a game out, and so on. We go to Division Three. Hector Flores is in first. He had a bye this week. Uber 9, for some reason, got he got a tie. He didn't put his picks in. I don't know why you would do that. It's like suicide. You're 3-0. and You could have been 4-0 and uh, because the guy you tied with, I don't think, uh, he, didn't pick, he didn't put picks in, so you tied with him. So there's that. Uh, hold on a minute. Yeah, that's really nothing else going on in that division. Uh, division 4 is a fucking shenanigan division. You got Gabe Croning 3-0-1. And, and then Jay Valenz is coming up strong at 3-1-1. One one, only a half game out. And it's anybody's game. The King of the North, if you even watch these videos, if you start putting picks in, you're actually, you could win the division. You're only 3 out at 0-3-1. So... Division 5, you got Thomas Miranda Rights and Jennifer Lynn Goldilocks. They're both 5-0. and uh, What else? Tell You Ride Gaming is only a game out, along with Cool Man 894. Um, and that's pretty much that. Asylum Crow stopped his four-game losing streak with a tie against somebody who also didn't put their picks in. Division 6, Magic Baku, for some reason, did not put his picks in again. So he's 3-0 until he tied. So it's anybody's game. Steven Lucy, keep putting your picks in. You're going to win the division because Magic Baku decided at 3-0. He didn't want to play anymore. Um, Ashton Breyer, 1-0-4. He's tied four in a row. Then these guys, Dill Pickles and Lezzarelli, 0-0-5. Five. five in a row ties. Didn't put picks in any at any point, I don't think. Uh, that's pretty much it in Division 5. There's somebody, somebody overtook uh, at, at uh, Enrique Barajas' overall record. I don't know what division we're getting to it, though. The win-loss record. Here we go. So, Division 7, you got Peyton Nuarta and II Eagle III and Black Wolf. A virtual tie for first. But Peyton Nuarta at 51-27 and 27 has the tiebreaker over both II Eagle and Black Wolf. Uh, Texas Savage only a half game out. Isaac Walker only a game out, along with Josh A., who has a horrible record in picks. But he actually plays, therefore he's only a game out. So, that's how that works. Six and seventy-two. Ooh, Anthony Colombo. Go to Division Eight. You got Nate Smith. Oh, this is the division that nobody actually puts their picks in. Look at that. Look at that. Nobody actually plays in this division. Four and seventy-four is the worst record, by the way. Twenty-four K gold. Four and seventy-four. Zero point zero five one winning percentage. If anybody in Division Eight watches this football video, if you literally, all you got to do is play. Both of you cut that out. I'm doing the football standings. There is no reason to act like maniacs. Cut it out. 
All right. So if anybody watches this video, just play. All you got to do is play. You win the division. Sheet 9, Division 9. TJD in first. Chris Lopez, only a game out. Again, this is anybody's division to win. Um, let's go to Division 10. Navy, 4-0. Uh, somebody lost. Was it? No, it wasn't. I forget who it was. But here we go. Is it Division, uh, where are we, 10? No. No, it is not. We're coming, though. This guy, I think we're, we're close. Division 11. Nope, it's not here. But PZ says 4-0, half game ahead of Mush. Um, Evan, a game and a half out, along with Beavis 4, who don't play. They just tie all the time. We go to Division 12. This is, here he is. Splash God, I believe you're in first place now, overall record-wise. I think. 54 and 24, you have a 692 winning percentage. You've won four in a row. You're only a half game out because bolt up 85 is 5 and 0. Parker Purdue, not to be confused with Peter Parker. Um, not to be confused with Peter Piper. It's 4 and 0 and 1, only a half game out. And uh, let's see, anybody else doing anything here? Not really, but again, anybody's division. I mean, Mr. Rada, if all you do is play, it's like the lottery. You just got to play. Division 13, Stephen Wolf. I don't think you have you. All you got to do is put picks in, Stephen. You're going to win this division. Nobody else plays anymore. McNasty. McNasty, I'm warning you right now, if you're watching this video, this isn't hard. Tell me what division you're in. And don't say, well, you just said my name. You're in division 13. No, I'm not doing that. Rules are rules. Just put your division in when you put your picks in. Say, hi, I'm McNasty. Here are my picks for week six. Oh, and by the way, I'm in division 13. And guess what, McNasty? Your picks will count. And then division 14, Enrique Barajas ended up with a loss. He's 51 and 27. Um, but at the end of the day, Splash God, yeah, you have a three-game lead over him. I think... 54, yeah, three-game lead for overall record. Masi line, you're doing good. Uh, Nathan Judge, Bengals report, 49-29, and 29, but you're a half game out along with J.D. Beast. J.D. Beast, see, this is all you got to do is play. J.D. Beast, look at this. He's 4-1, and one, but he's 34-43 and 43 overall. If you just put your picks in, you're probably going to win. It's that simple. I swoos hit a bye, so there you go. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Put your picks in on this video. You guys know the drill. We will see you next time.